Okay, we're, uh, we're we went right across the street on number three road now on the uh, on the west side, Furbridge and number three road. Now we're again looking at more more towers. This is a more of a recently completed unit. Um, so basically, you can see there are people living in there. So it's well, we'll say these are finished buildings, and but again, look at the low low occupancy rate. Okay, uh, we're gonna walk down the street here, and uh, and uh, we're gonna see the see this. Next tower, same thing. There are, there are some people living there, but uh, again, look at look at the uh, low. Uh, I don't want to say vacant, uh, the high vacancy rate. In other words, it's uh, it's basically uh, no lights on, and uh, most of these have been sold out for for quite a while. Uh, what, what what often happens is these buildings are sold overseas. You know, you, you won't even get a chance to buy them. They're are, are, they're they're over they're um, advertised offshore, and uh, and people overseas buy them basically on a set of blueprints. Yeah. Often, and then what will happen again? The usual cycle is they'll be kept for about two to three years, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Okay. Again, this is. Um, this was an old car dealership here, and it was here for the land here, as you can see. And, uh, and again, you see the same, same old thing again. Dark buildings. Now, you can imagine what, how much business would thrive if these people were actually living here and contributing to the economy. But all they basically do is provide a tax base. And it means to, well, like you say, there's a lot of suspicions of laundering money. So, and we're walking down this whole city block here. And again, you see the, uh, there's another tower in behind there. You see, we're not going to do a 360 degree walk around every building, but I think this random sampling is pretty indicative of the problem. Yeah, yeah. So, again. Okay, yeah. So, that's, okay. this is part of the Richmond. Yep. And there's another high-rise. We'll just uh, while we're in the, on the same street here. There's another residential building here. Yeah, this one up. Yeah, that one. There's, there's another dark one back there. Yeah. Same thing again. See yeah. the uh, we call this again the ghost city phenomenon. Yeah. Okay, and then we can look pan over to this one here. Same thing again. See. Uh, those lights there are, are basically stairwells and elevators. Uh, that's yeah. the, that's those, yeah, that yeah. has nothing to do with anybody living. That's the, on this, this this portion here going east. Yeah. It's the farther portions over there, you see, um, are again basically not lit. Yeah. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. But again, there's there's this is just a, a sampling within a very small area. This is a phenomenon all throughout Richmond as far as high rises and and, and other residential buildings. Mm-hmm.